Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Brian. Uh, today I am going to be doing a new pour for myself. I'm doing a wandering straight pour. I have not done this before, so it'll be the first time and I'm doing it here on camera. So. Hopefully this comes out well. Um, I was looking at a couple of videos on YouTube and I ran across Mina who uh, did one of these and I really, really love the colors and uh, the, the technique and style how she did it. So I'm gonna try to do my own little version of it. So I've changed up the colors a little bit and um, we'll see how it comes out. So I'll get you down on the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, what we got here is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I've got it taped and push pinned on the back. Got the large push pins I get from Amazon. Um, I have painted my sides with uh, black. I'm using Artist Law Flow Acrylic Black. Um, I'm also using Mix as my uh, pouring medium or additive and um, I tend to always paint my sides, especially when I'm using a dark color, especially with black. But when you're using mix, it can sometimes give you some transparent edges. So I do like to paint those beforehand. So the colors we're going to use today, like I said, is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in the black. I'm using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I'm using Deco Art uh, 24 karat gold. I'm also using Amsterdam's in the pearl blue, since I'm using uh, a few other blue colors. I'm using Creative Inspirations in the Payne's Gray, which their Payne's Gray has a blue tinge to it. I'm using Pebeo Studio Acrylics in the uh, green blue iridescent. And so I've mixed these with mix. A couple of them have a little bit of Liquitex gloss medium in it because there were some extra paints that are sitting around. So I decided just to add a little mix to it to thicken it up. We're going to need about 17 ounces of paint for this wandering straight pour. And again, I'm going to link Mina's video because this is where I've got the inspiration from. I changed the colors up just a tad bit, but I got the same kind of, um, uh, same, same, close to same color palette, so. All right, so I got two nine ounce cups. We only need 17 ounces, but I'm gonna use, uh, fill these up, so that'll be 18, so that'll be enough. And we're gonna come back and flood the canvas in just a few moments. We're gonna pour out the paint. And the color we're gonna start off with, I think, it's gonna be the Payne's Gray. And we'll do these cups exactly the same. Come in with the cobalt blue. Four karat gold. Some pearl. Greenish blue. Come in with the black. That black's gonna look really nice against that greenish blue. I am gonna come in with a little white, just as a separation. And then I'm gonna come back over here with the paints. Metallic. Gold. 
hold. Some white. Or pearl blue, I should say. beautiful cups here so now what we need to do is flood our canvas and I'm gonna pour two cups and I think I'm gonna kind of make an arc we'll see going to turn this Wow, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna torch this real quick. All right, let's tilt this up.
Okay, I'm loving everything through here. I'm loving all this. Think maybe if I can get this over here just to stretch just a bit. And I think I'm gonna need just a little bit more black to make that flow. love it. I love the lines that I get through this. All right, I'm going to leave it right here. I love this. I love the color selection. I love the wandering rings of two cups. Beautiful, beautiful lines that we're getting with this. It just stretched out amazingly. I'm loving the black line, the negative black space that goes through there. I'm loving these little cells that popped in the corner. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, I'm gonna uh, clean everything up, get the edges fixed, torch it, and then I'll bring you guys down. Here is the wet result. This came out beautiful. I'm loving the lines. It just, this was my first ever doing a wandering anything on video anyways. And I love this technique. It is so cool. All right, I'm gonna bring you in here starting on top left. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I'll let you see the dried result. All right, here is the dried result. Man, this really came out beautiful. I'm loving the gold. I thought the gold was too much, but now that it's dried, it really is making this whole piece pop. I'm loving those little black negative line spots there or lines going through it too. Just gorgeous. I'll bring you up here and let you see a close up. All right, everyone, this piece is available. You can email me directly at briansuppervalleyartistry at gmail.com, or you can head over to my Etsy shop. That's at Brian's Upper Valley Art. 
All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Remember, it's free to subscribe, free to like. It's also free to dislike. If you don't like the piece, or if you do like the piece, just let me know in the comments below. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now. So this big fatty's junior. This little guy right here is Stanley. Your yeah, baby's crying, huh? Oh, you're gonna make him go to the bathroom. This little fatty over here is Regina. And this is Bonnie. Now they're all waking up and they want milk. <laughs>